you know you have to appreciate how like strongly i'm holding on to like the halloween decorations and everything i'm sorry i just freaking love halloween so that's what we get and i hope that i'm not overexposed <sighs> let's roll the intro hello everyone my name is monica and welcome back to my channel money reads where i talk about books and things and we have to talk i took a week off of um filming um basically because i was not i was not able to film basically and also because i was not enjoying filming as i used to now i've got like a, a light like a like a really beautiful light that i bought online i've got a microphone i you know i i felt that my videos needed more quality needed to be more interesting to justify doing all of this and before i would just put on my camera and film and now it started to feel a little bit more i don't know like 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 i had to do more like i wasn't doing enough so today i decided you know um i'm gonna actually angle you down a little bit which you know it might not be the best angle but i want to open some packages with you just some you know touch base with you let you know hang on let you know what i'm how i'm doing how is life um i had an eye infection that was fun um things have been uh great <laughs> work as you saw in that weekend vlog which i don't know why i called it a vlog i was trying to i don't know i i, I just found myself in a place where i wasn't i wasn't sure what i wanted to do with my channel but anyway um so i just want to kind of have like a chit down sit, sit down chit chat with you talk about some books that i've got the first one i think i've already mentioned this it's silk by caitlin r kiernan i don't know much about this book i just know that um rachel from the shades of orange did a video and somebody recommended this and it was two euros so i got it i've also been doing a lot of that i've been doing a lot of like self-soothing um shopping lately which i haven't felt that great by honestly um i know that i was on a no buy and i completely broke that and I felt like I had failed somehow and that I was a failure and like how could I come on here and be like you know be mindful of buying when I wasn't doing that myself and that also got me really down um another book I bought by the way is The Woman in the Window by AJ, AJ Finn this is one of my favorite books I think if you have anxiety the description of anxiety in this book is probably one of the best descriptions of anxiety that i've ever read um it's about a woman who sees uh what she believes is a murder happening across like her her house the thing is she's an, an agoraphobe and she can't get out of the house so um yeah i really love this book the movie looks like shit um i used to make trailers for a living and usually i can tell from a trailer when something looks like shit and that looks like shit so i'm not very excited about the movie but because the movie is coming out i i meant i imagine that a lot of people are going to get this book so i wanted to have it to talk to you about it and yeah so i have it <laughs> um what else uh work has been horrible uh as in it's been so time consuming that i honestly have no time to film i'm working monday through saturday i have a really extreme schedule also my family is still here that has been something that has been really hard for me to deal with because this house is very small it has one bathroom we are four grown adults here you know I, I, as much as i like to say that i don't count as a grown adult i actually do um and it's really hard to have classes online when people are well, wanting to make lunch or dinner or breakfast and my husband is on his computer playing video games and i have to like find a space and i don't like to work in my bedroom it's it's been a lot it's been a lot so another thing that i've been getting back into is my tarot reading practices so this is a book that i've been wanting to get for a long time and um it's the kitchen table tarot by melissa sinova sinova i'm not sure how you pronounce that but basically um this is just to uh, refresh in my knowledge of tarot now before anybody asks no i don't believe you can tell the future through tarot but i do use tarot as a meditative tool like a tool to get in touch with my spirituality because i am actually a very spiritual person i am a person that really feels really connected especially to nature and 
with everything going on, I can't just really go out to nature because um, we are like districts and my district is closed, very Hunger Game-ish, but so I just decided to get back into my tarot practice and, you know, do things like maybe pull out a card, or, like things I used to do that really used to bring me joy. Um, and this book will help me with that. Um, I, I can't wait to dig into this to just like, like grab it and grab my highlighter and write all over it. I've been wanting this book for years and I finally got it. I also got another tarot deck. I've got nine, I think 10 tarot decks at this point. Let me know if you'd be interested in knowing about that. Okay, so now we get into the unboxing part of this video. Uh, there's a book that I already opened because I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna unbox on camera, but then the opportunity arose. I have an hour before my next class and I was like, you know what? Let's get back down to basics. Oh, sorry, I think I moved you. Let's get back down to basics and just do an unboxing. And I didn't realize that I bought another Caitlin R. Kiernan, Kiernan? Kiernan book. And this is The Drowning Girl. This looks like, like, look at that cover. I love it. It looks like so much fun. And you, I think, again, you know, holding on to my Halloween aesthetic here, but I think spooky season for me ends pretty much around never. Uh, but I, I find all of winter to be very, very spooky and like scary. So this is another book that I got that I'm really excited about. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this shelf because it's filling up. Well, I do some, I do have an, some unhauling to do. We'll get to that later. Um, let's see. What is this? Okay. Oh, this is Stephen King's Misery. Now, if you know me, if you have seen me talk about Stephen King before. I have only ever read two Stephen King books, one of them being The Shining, which I really, really, really like. And the other one is, I think I'm blown out. I'm sorry, let me, let me mess with my camera for a moment. I think that's probably better. But anyway, I've only ever read two of his books. I've only read The Shining and I've read um, his book written as Richard Bachman, which is The Long Walk, which is one of my favorites. But I found out that <laughs> Misery was published the year I was born, almost like <laughs> it was published like three months before I was born. And I don't know, I felt kind of akin to that. And I've heard that this is a lot of people's favorite book. So um, I bought it, <laughs> literally bought it because it was from the year I was born. So I got that one. I'm not super excited about it, but you know, let's open another one. Here we go. Oh, okay. So this is, this is interesting. I saw somebody post on Instagram the original cover of this book, which is Silence by Shusa, Shusaku Endo. And there's a film being made, obviously. That's why you get that ugly cover. <laughs> well, it's not, actually, it's not that ugly. It, it's interesting looking. But this is um, a Je Jesuit priest, Sebastian Rodriguez, set sail for Japan, determined to help the brutally oppressed Chinese, uh, sorry, not Chinese, Christians there. He, also, he is also desperate to discover the truth about his former mentor, rumored to have renounced his faith under torture. Rodriguez cannot believe the story about a man he so revered, but as his journey takes him deeper into Japan and then into the hands of those who would crush his faith, he finds himself forced to make an impossible choice, to abandon his flock or his god. That sounds really interesting. I like that shock of cultures. We often talk about the clash of cultures in South America, but there has been clashes of cultures all over the world. And this book just looked amazing. The original cover looked really good, but when the original cover is 16 euros and this one is three euros, I go for the three euro one. <laughs> all right, we have another one here. Sorry, like I'm like kind of opening thing off camera because, oh, yay, I got Robopocalypse. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I, you guys, uh, you saw me read this book. You saw me love it. And I really wanted to own a copy. I sometimes just read books on audio. I found them. I think like I've talked about this before. I love to find diverse reads or just reads in general through Audible and through uh, what's this called, um, Scribd. And then if I really like it, I want to support the author. So I buy their books physically. 
I'm still crushed at the fact that I haven't been able to find a version of Moon of the Crusted Snow. I really want to buy that book. I really want to support that author. But, well, I did find this one by Daniel H. Wilson. Apparently, this is going to be turned into a movie or was going to be turned into a movie. Um, and the director was going to be Steven Spielberg. This is just like an action-packed story. Um, it's like I said it before. It's not very cerebral. It's not very like, it's not Te Chiang. But that does not mean that it's not good or that it's not going to make you feel awesome when you read it. So I 100% recommend it. And oh, it's so much prettier in person. It's like really glossy. And I really love this book. This book, it was like the first book in a while that took me out like a, like such a, like a reading slump. That's another thing. I've been like going through a really rough patch with reading like nothing that I read well not nothing a few things that I've read and and they're not here yet I was want I kind of wanted to make this video later on but um, because I did order some other books you'll see them later uh, but I've I've encountered a like wall with my reading where I have been reading books just to read them or like that I haven't liked and um, that has also affected my ability to make videos. I think it's been a bunch of things. It's been, you know, now feeling like I have to make perfect looking videos, perfect sounding videos. I, I have to be perfect for you to like me. And what I realized is most of you are here because you like my stupid personality, <laughs> my, my absolutely ridiculous personality. And I wasn't feeling like me lately, so of course I didn't want to film, but I just want to thank you for those of you that are here um, and that have been patiently waiting for me to get back to normal. Also, what the heck is this? Why is this candle not on? I'm going to hold on to this Halloween aesthetic as much as I can. And then we get to the most exciting book that I got. It's even prettier in person. I told myself I wasn't going to get this, but I couldn't help it. I got the special edition of Dune by Frank Herbert with the sprayed edges. I was going to get another edition, the one with the with the drawings, but I, I might still get that. I might ask for it for my birthday. But the reason I went for this one, first of all, is this cover. This cover is everything. I love this cover. And I saw everyone had it, especially Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena. Girl, I was like, good envy. Like, like I was envious, but I was not like, I didn't want you to like, I didn't want anything to happen to your, to your edition. But I really wanted it, and specifically because this is a tattoo quote that I wanna get. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got gold. Uh, let me take this off. Um, um, and I, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Oh, you are. Fear is the mind killer. That is something that I want to get because I often feel paralyzed by fear. Like I've talked about this before. I have anxiety. I suffer from really severe anxiety. So, um, yeah, I want to get this so that I remind myself that fear is the mind killer and that I can do anything. And, um, yeah, I, that's another thing. I was just so scared of anything that I posted I don't know why, I just was having a hard time. I'm, I'm gonna show you this also that came with the book. This is the spine, the, the dust jacket. It's got this beautiful illustration, but I like this a lot better. I love the colors of this. This is just so beautiful. I don't know where the hell I'm gonna put it, but um, I was thinking of putting it here, but that looks so nice there. I think I'm just gonna display this somewhere else, maybe in my bedroom or something. I don't know, somewhere. I realized also that um, um, I need more shelves, <laughs> more sci-fi shelves because um, as you can see, I read mostly sci-fi and I left myself all of this thinking that would be enough for sci-fi and up here, but it turns out that it's not, it's not enough. I read way too much sci-fi, so which I'm really happy about. That's another thing. I'm really happy that I found like what I like to read because before I felt like I was floundering like what do I like like what why would people come to my channel and I think it was Rachel at the Ch Shades of Orange uh, she said that my channel is mostly sci-fi and um, 
uh, with a focus on diverse reading. And that is perfectly what I am about. Um, and that is what I want this channel to be about. Of course, it doesn't mean that I'm never going to read anything outside from sci-fi, but you know, I want you to come here when you're tired of everybody talking about Velocity Weapon and even Dune or um, The Expanse and stuff like that and check out some really cool sci-fi and speculative fiction um, written by people that you might not know and especially by authors that are of a are neurodiverse, uh, sexually diverse, um, BIPOC, you know, I, I really like that. But then again, that also puts a little bit of pressure on me and I'm not saying that like you put this pressure on me, I'm putting this pressure on myself or sometimes I'm scared that if I don't put out like something that is really diverse for a month, people are going to be like, oh, so you don't read diverse anymore. Why do I think, I guess I think people are just mean, which is not the case in, in my like YouTube um, sphere, career, whatever you want to call it people have been extra super nice. Like everybody has been amazing. So I don't know where this fear comes from. I guess, you know, I just have to remember that fear is the mind killer and that people, I guess every YouTuber or at least most YouTubers goes through this where it's like, why do people want to watch me? Like, I don't think people even want to watch me anymore because I'm not doing this or that, or I'm not you know, or for example, like in this video, my energy is a little bit down. It's like, nobody's going to like this video, Monica, you know, I kind of have to remember that I do this because I want to, I wanted to show you these books. I wanted to unbox things on camera. I wanted to be honest about the fact that I'm having a hard time with my job, with my house, with my life in general, you know, I, I, that's, that's why I started this channel so that I had someone to talk to and I know that right now I'm talking to the lens of my camera which I wonder what my psychologist will say about that but you know um but you are out there I know you are you know leave me a comment down below let me know that you watched this video of me floundering also the videos that you're gonna see coming up are videos that I filmed before I decided to take a week off so yeah <sighs> this felt like really like a really nice release. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the books that I uh, bought. I think actually I for somebody that says that their channel is sci-fi, I only bought two sci-fi books. But you know what? There's plenty there's plenty more sci-fi. And this month I think I've like exclusively read sci-fi. I'm going to read I think one book that is not sci-fi. So Thank you so much for watching. Really, thank you so much. You, you have no idea how important it is for me to share my thoughts and feelings and all that jazz. So yeah, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, this is, this is what there is. I am going to try to go back to posting Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. I tried to post Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays. Didn't get, I got a lukewarm review, like review. Yeah, I got lukewarm, I don't know, feelings from that. I'm going to try my best, you know, um, but I am going to continue to post three times a week. Just took one week off. That doesn't mean much. And I appreciate every single one of you. Seriously, seriously, I really do. I know that sounds so cliche and like you don't even know me, but I actually do appreciate everybody that watches my videos. Like even if you are a silent watcher, thank you. Thank you, because uh, it's like. It's like we're a group of friends just sitting down and maybe I'm, you know, drinking apple juice, pretending it's wine because I don't like wine and you're and I'm talking and talking and you're listening. And and sometimes that's all you need. Somebody to to listen to you while you drink a cup of apple juice. That went nowhere. Anyway, <laughs> without further ado, I bid you adieu with a reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and I will try my best to stick to that. And thank you so much for watching. And remember that I will catch you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye.